So I am a, a plant ecologist, a conservation biologist, and I form part of the botany team. And that team is six people this time. We actually have the perfect combination of people. We have one person who is an expert in the Ecuadorian flora, Walter Palacios, and he's worked a long time in Cuyabeno, um, which is the area that's protected on the Ecuadorian side. As a botanist in this biological inventory, my job is to make a rapid diagnosis of the flora and the vegetation in five already selected sites in this zone. I personally target finding the arboreal species, so my work is focused more on trees and I use the pruning poles to bring down botanical specimens, hopefully fertile, meaning that they have flowers or fruits that will help with the identification of the plants. Then we have Nayaret Davila, who's from Peru, who has experience in Loreto, and she, so she knows the Peruvian flora very well. We are pressing the plants that were collected today. Right now, I'm pressing an indigenaceae. When we press the plant, we try and show the main characteristics of the plant. After that, we pour alcohol over it and take it to be dried. Eventually, all the specimens are deposited in the different herbariums. And then we have the expert of all experts, Robin Foster, who has incredible experience in Yasuni National Park, but also just broadly across the whole Amazon. Uh, the uh, two things I really want to get across, how to look at landscapes and whole communities of plants here in the most diverse part of the world. I mean, you get more orchids up in the mountains and things like that, but as far as trees, vines, shrubs, herbs, this is the place where the a tropical forest is the richest and how to approach it requires that you not only learn as many plants as you can so that you can recognize different patterns but you can also then see changes from one soil type to another or one type of uh, relief whether it's flooded or whether it's uh, steep hills or that sort of thing so that's my main objective and I go around my little notebook and take notes on every plant I know and every as many plants as I can that I don't know and uh, at the same time trying to teach some of these younger people to and who are learning very fast to recognize these things. We have Jill Lopez who is Peruvian and who has worked in the Zona Reservada Guaypi for the last four years as a volunteer park guard, has great experience with palms and just has a, already has experience here in the area. The methodology I use is the same one that all the botanists use. You walk along the trails and in this case I look for the palms and ferns. For example, to recognize the palms you only need to look for the morphological characteristics, the shape and structure of the plant. And then we have Bill Alverson, who is an expert in one of the toughest groups of plants, um, the Malvales, which is a huge uh, part of any, any tropical forest. And so these, these, together with me, the six of us have been really focusing on how do we characterize a group that is extraordinarily diverse. Hi, I'm Bill Alverson. I'm a botanist at the Field Museum in Chicago. And we're here at the last of the inventory sites. Um, this one is along the Rio Putumayo. <clears throat> just got here yesterday and been out in the field all day. Just got back with a load full of plant specimens. And um, in terms of what we do, there's uh, several things that get done on the plant team. One is uh, we'll do transects to compare the sites where you actually take numerical data and measure a certain strip of a certain width and look at all the stems, uh, plants of a certain diameter to get a really accurate comparison between sites. So also what people do is they wander around, they just take notes of things because some things are not very common, you don't see them often, but they go on the list for the site list. And we put all those together at the end of the trip in the report. And then the third thing that the botanists tend to do, which is what I tend to do most, is go out and just focus on certain areas and see what's in flower and fruit there to collect, to document it, to um, actually make a permanent record of it. You know. So we take a lot of photographs, we make a lot of observations, but also in a place like this, where there's a lot of species that are, are new, or sometimes, um, you know, for instance, we, we found one thing that is probably a, a new record, a new family that's never been recorded in Peru before. But there's a lot of other things that are either new species or new genera for Peru or Ecuador, 
or are just new species to science. And we, we, I think we probably found two or three new species to science just this morning being out.